Internazionale and the venue for the 2016 Champions League final. And here we have Argentina against Croatia. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? A striker with a real nuisance value for me, Mandzukic. I like my strikers hassling defenders as much as possible, and he delivers in that respect. He's happy to indulge in, in an aggressive niggle and, and won't go docile and passive, and that's hard to cope with. OK, interesting. Away from immediate danger. Di Maria, Messi, Messi hits it! Oh, wonderful, wonderful Lionel Messi! And what a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on, this could be rather exciting. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Messi is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Croatia didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Luca. Now it's Mandzukic into the channel. Hit into the middle. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Worth a try, but not this time. Well, to execute a first-time volley like that with power, I think you need to get everything in, in perfect order, and not quite. To Michalis. Pumps it upfield. Messi. And it's Iguain. Iguain. Brozovic. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Aimed long and direct. Now it's Iguain. Looks like a good ball through. Di Maria. Well read, he sorted that out. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Patel. Perisic. Tries a through ball. Schoener gets it back. Tries to dink it in. Choluka. Gets it back. Out to the left it goes. Oh, good interception. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Argentina, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Argentina carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Who's going to make this theirs? Now the pass. And it's Iguain. Danger averted for now. Marcos Rojo.
Di Maria passes it through. Ball's gone out of play. Keeps everyone guessing. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Di Maria. Croatia uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Battelle. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. It's a pity he slightly mistimed his run. Maybe he wasn't expecting the ball to come his way as, as fast as it did. To Michalis. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, now that he scored, this defence is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. Rakitic plays it out to the wing. Looks to slip it through. Cut out in the nick of time. Has gone out. Pulls out once more. Perisic drives it in. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Brozovic huddling down that right flank. And that's a throw in. And that's another throw. Dinks one in. Well played, he saw that coming. Rakitic. Out to the left it goes. And it's Mandzukic. Mandzukic plays it out to the wing. Thrust towards the front line. Mascherano knocks it away. Good clearance and very necessary. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Argentina just have to run down the clock. And there goes the final.